On Monday, Russian forces fired at least 10 missiles at the city of Huhuev, 40 kilometres southeast of Kharkiv. The missiles hit a local school, several private houses, destroyed heating networks in one district and a community centre where seven people were present at the time of the attack. A lot of debris fell next to me and I fell. I was unconscious for about four hours. Then a fireman pulled me out. My brother is still there, as are my girlfriend and grandmother. Now they're trying to get them out. This is what the city centre looks like, where the community centre is located. There were no soldiers here. Now we see what's left of it. The house is completely destroyed. There is no chance for it to be rebuilt. The Russians continue to attack the port city of Odessa. The shelling began less than 24 hours after the signing of an agreement in Istanbul regarding the export of Ukrainian grain from warehouses blocked by Russia. You will have seen a statement we issued over the weekend in which the Secretary General unequivocally condemned reported strikes in the Ukrainian port of Odessa. He stressed that on Friday all parties made clear commitments on the global stage to ensure the safe movement of Ukrainian grain and related products to global markets. The Secretary General noted that these products are desperately needed to address the global food crisis and ease the suffering of millions of people in need around the globe. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan called on Russia and Ukraine to act responsibly and honour the agreements on Ukrainian grain exports signed last week in Istanbul. The Turkish President also referred to the Russian attack on the port in Odessa, which took place the day after the agreement on the transport of grain was signed. I expect all parties to keep their commitments. We want everyone to avoid actions that go against the spirit of the contract. It makes us sad that something like this has happened. We are determined to implement this agreement with all its elements and our efforts in this regard are continuing. According to representatives of the American authorities, Russia's actions are contradictory to Moscow's pledge on Friday, which insisted on cooperation and the willingness to unblock grain transport from Ukraine. The shelling of the port in Odessa the day after Russia concluded the agreement on the export of Ukrainian grain through the Black Sea is similar to what we saw earlier in Syria, where Russian troops attacked humanitarian convoys. This is unfortunately in line with the way they work. Hopefully this will not happen again and Russia will actually deliver on its Istanbul commitments. We will be observing it very closely. The international sanctions are paralyzing the Russian economy and, at the same time, affect the military situation of the Russian forces. Their attacks are being counteracted more and more effectively by Ukrainian soldiers. Since the 24th of February, the Russians have already lost almost 40,000 soldiers, 2,000 tanks and almost 4,000 armoured vehicles. Indeed, here this offensive power of Ukraine is being recovered and slowly by small steps its activity in the southern oblasts, in the eastern oblasts of Ukraine is noticeable, something to be happy about. I hope that this will translate into actual real military superiority in these regions. According to United Nations data, from the 24th of February to the 24th of July, at least 5,000 civilians were killed in Ukraine and more than 7,000 injured. In addition, the Russians are holding nearly 5,000 people who wanted to leave the occupied Melitopol in the Zaporizhia region.